and welcome back. So this is another episode of my makeup rehab series that I started at the beginning of the year. Basically the point of this is to have me buy less makeup and then also kind of think about maybe why I bought so much makeup. So this video has two parts. I am going to recap November and December because I did start working on this at the end of October. And then also I'm telling you my plan for the year. So let's get it. The recap for November is pretty straightforward. I bought absolutely no makeup, no skincare, no beauty products. Pretty good. I was very happy about that. I definitely needed to do a one month no buy after how much I bought in October, which was a little bit too much. And also the VIB sale ended up happening at the end of October, not in November. So I figured fine. I will do a no by November and it worked. I am very, very proud of myself. For December, I started thinking about a budget because that's what I decided that I want to do for this year. I wasn't sure on the exact amount and I went back and forth, but for the month of December, I did end up spending $60 on total for skincare and makeup. I bought my eye cream, which I ran out of, and that is $48. That is the Kiehl's Creamy Avocado Eye Cream. and there was that $25 off $75 Sephora coupon. And I wasn't gonna use it, but I actually ran out of my eye cream during that, which again was $48. So I spent $27 more, I think the math is right on that, to get to 75, so then I got it for $50. So actually, that was a really good deal. So let me show you what I, spent beyond that to use the coupon. I bought two of those Sephora little face mask things. I don't have them with me there in my bathroom, but for $18, the Fruit Sorbet Palette by Violet Voss. And I did review this on my channel and here it is. It's beautiful, I really, really like it. The shimmers could be higher quality, unfortunately, but the mattes are really, really good. And I love this color story. I said I wanted to expand my colorful eyeshadow collection. So this little guy was perfect. So $50 for that order. I feel like I only really paid for my eye cream, which I was gonna buy anyway. So hopefully that makes sense. In December, then I did buy one other thing and that was another eyeshadow palette. I know, but this is the Pro Fusion Temptress palette. This is $10, so that was the other $10 that I spent. And this is a really good palette. I've never tried this brand before. And there's a few shades, this one here that's super sheer, but all the rest are really pigmented and beautiful. There's definitely fallout, so they work better with a wet brush, but wow. If you wanna expand your colorful eyeshadows for $10, I was amazed. I actually want more of these, but they're all sold out at Target now. This was their holiday release, but you can still find some of them online. Did I need it? No. For $10, I actually am really glad that I bought it. <laughs> I did acquire one other new makeup product in December, and that was a Christmas gift. My husband did buy me an eyeshadow palette, which I did request. We just ask each other what we want, and so I asked for this the BH Cosmetics Sylvia Ghani palette, and this is $25. So I guess if I had bought it myself, which I was planning on getting it, I guess I would have spent $85 for the month, which is still not bad, because this is the only makeup thing I got for Christmas. And oh my gosh, this palette is such good quality. I can't even believe it. I'm blown away these purples, the blue. It's a really, really good palette. This is the second palette from BH Cosmetics that I've gotten that I absolutely love. I tried some of their stuff a few years ago. It wasn't great, but this and the Weekend Festival palette are such good quality. So I am really happy I got this. Plus the packaging is gorgeous. I don't even watch this person, by the way. I just saw the palette and I wanted it, but it's really, really good. So I am glad that I got this. However, even though I only spent $60 in December, which I don't think is bad at all, that includes skincare and makeup, I did acquire three new eyeshadow palettes, which is a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> but I love eyeshadow. So this brings into the plan I have for 2019. And 
For a while I did consider doing a no buy, a lot of people are, but I just decided I don't feel that I need to do that. My collection is not that large, I don't think. I did just do a makeup inventory, so I will link that. I don't think it's crazy. I think my main goal is to save money because I spent more than I wanted last year on makeup. And if I hadn't, I would have that money in my savings account. And that does bother me a little bit, a lot of it. <laughs> Actually, it bothers me. So I do want to change so that. The plan is that for the total year, I do not want to spend more than $999. I want it to just be right under a thousand. That includes makeup and skincare. I feel like $1,000 a year for both of those categories, personally, I don't think is bad. I don't have a back stock of skincare, so I calculated out last year, I did spend about four or $500 on skincare, and that's because I only have one of each category, I use it up, and I do then have to repurchase. So $999 divided by 12 is about $83 a month. So I have $83 a month to spend on makeup and skincare. What I need to do is assess at the beginning of the month if there is skincare that I am running out of that I have to repurchase. My skincare routine is mostly drugstore, but there are a few high-end products, including my Kiehl's Avocado Eye Cream, the Sunday Riley Luna Oil, and the Watermelon Glow Face Mask Thingy Moisturizer. Those are really the only high-end things that I really, really want to have. I may try some other high-end skincare out, but again, that takes away from my whole budget. So that is my plan. Um, obviously, this is variable per person. This is just what works for me and seems reasonable for me. Some people may think $83 a month on makeup and skincare is a lot of money, and others may think, well, that's not bad, you know? So for me, I think this is good. If I do this all year, I will be spending well over a thousand dollars less on makeup and skincare than I did in 2018, which is my goal. I think that is pretty good. I did quite well in December, although one of those palettes I'm technically not including, but again, if I had bought it, I still would be at $85, which is really not bad. And I did know by, know by November, that was quite successful. So yeah. The other thing that I want to mention is certain categories. I was considering buying or saying that I'm not gonna buy in a bunch of different categories because I have a lot, primarily eyeshadow palettes. As you can see, I currently have 40 eyeshadow palettes. However, I decided, you know what, as long as I stay in my budget, that just experiment with eyeshadow, that's fine because that is my favorite thing. I love buying new eyeshadows, even though obviously I don't need more. I decided as long as I'm within the budget, that's fine. I can still buy eyeshadow. I'm not going to put a cap on that. May seem a little crazy, but it makes me happy. And my primary goal is to save money, not anything else. So I think if you're doing a no buy or a low buy, I highly suggest you decide what is your primary end goal. And my primary end goal is saving money. So I am okay with buying makeup. However, there is only one category I have decided I am not allowed to buy any, and that is lipstick. I have, I think, what did I say in my inventory? I think 47 lipsticks. And last year I finished three deluxe sizes. I didn't even finish one full size. Honestly, a lot of days I either wear just chapstick or just lip gloss, so there's no point and I mostly wear nudes and if I want to wear red or purple I already own those colors lip products go bad way faster than eyeshadows so I am not allowed to buy any lipstick which actually now that I finally had this realization is perfectly okay with me um, as yeah. far as other categories highlighter is one that I have a lot of and lately I've just been realizing that a lot of highlighters all look the same once you put them on the face. I've had that same realization about blush. So if a highlighter really, really, really catches my eye, I may still buy it, but I'm trying to really get that down. The last highlighter I bought was at the VIB sale at the end of October, and that was the 
Film Star Bronze and Glow by Charlotte Tilbury, and that thing is beautiful, so I want to get good use out of that, and all my other highlighters, that one is definitely the most expensive. I think that may be one of the most expensive makeup items I've ever purchased, even though I got it for 20% off, so anyway. All right, I am rambling on and on, but basically I think I did quite well in November and December. That makes me very, very happy. I have set my budget. I feel okay with that. I don't think it's too crazy one way or the other. I debated not keeping track of skincare at all, but then I didn't want to get into a thing where, oh, I'm just going to go buy five face masks. So I think that is good that I'm including both. Those are in my budget. It doesn't matter if I spend $1 on skincare, $1 on makeup, and the rest in the other category. It's $83 for both per month. So yeah, that is my plan. Let me know what are you doing this year. I know a lot of people are on no buys and that is amazing. Let me know and thanks for watching.